ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to another 7 Days to Die review episode. Today we are going to be taking a look at the Iron Reinforced Club as well as the Wooden Club to see just how much of a difference leveling up your skill perks in those categories will do. So, last episode we tested out guns as far as pistols, SMGs, and shotguns. We tested out looking at just how high you had to up your perception and your boom headshots. We also took a look at running gun as well as the gun slinger uh, perk. So make sure if you missed that episode and you would like to see what leveling up perception and your gun perk can do for you, make sure to check that episode out. You can find it right up in the top right corner of the screen. Should be a little card popping up. I'll also put a link down in the description below. But without further ado, let's go ahead and get into it. Now for this test, I did craft two very basic level one clubs so that it's fair. Again, this is testing for early stage to see just what you should put your perks into to determine where's the best route to go when leveling up your character. So, just like last time, we are going to do it a little bit differently because last time I kind of, you know, leveled everything up and then decided to test the other guns. Lesson learned, this time we crafted both. We're going to test them both out, see what each one does, how much of a difference there is, and then we're going to go from there. So, let's go ahead and give this guy, and oh, just so you guys know, uh, we're going to test out both regular swings and power swings on this. So, let's go ahead and give it a shot. That's a... Uh, that's a wooden club with a regular swing. So you got one hit, two hits, three hits, four hits, five hits, six hits, seven hits, eight hits. Eight hits with a regular swing of the club. So let's go ahead. Let's try out the power swings here. You got one, two, three. Technically four with the body shot. I think though if I remember correctly they will drop with three if you get headshots each time That's two. We'll wait for him to get up so I get a clean headshot on him. I want this to be you know pretty accurate Yeah, so three shots to the head and he will go down uh, and I believe but we'll test it the the bat should be the exact same or the uh, iron bat rather so you got one, that's two, and then on the third shot, they should pretty much go down on the third shot. Yep. All right, so there you have it. Oh my goodness. People are having a freaking fair day downstairs. Let's uh, let's just do a kill all real quick, make sure uh, nobody's bothering us here. Uh, so now let's go ahead and take a look at what leveling them up will do for us. So if we go in... Uh, oh, so you guys know, I am playing on all default settings. Uh, so it's on, I think it's uh, Nomad or something like that, the default settings. So, um, But yeah, so let's go ahead, let's get into the strength attribute. Alright, so very first thing you can do when you get, you know, some points, you can go in, you can take a look here, you got smash your enemies like a wrecking ball by doing devastating power attacks. This is to level up your power attack, so we're going to put a point into that, of course. Sexual Tyrannosaurus reduces melee stamina usage by 10%. Not too worried about that. Melee attack speed increased by 5%. Not too worried about that right now. 20% chance to inflict uh, bleeding damage. Not too worried about that because we're not doing um, we're not doing those. We're not uh, using knives or anything. 60% uh, chance for the power attacks to knock foes down. Not too worried about that. And then you also have Skull Crushers. Blows to the head do 25% more damage. So... This, you know, it's going to be a little more difficult to test out because of the fact that you have increased power attack and then you also have a skull crusher bonus. Um, so we're going to test it out like this. We're going to go through one by one, increase this, then increase that, increase this, increase that. And of course, along the way, you're going to be adding the attributes. So just to give you guys an idea, the strength level three, this we're looking at early game. This is level 10 and under. So the highest you can get is to level uh, level three here, which doesn't require any minimum requirements. You can sink your points right into it right away. At level four, that's when it requires you to be at least a player level 20. So we will be testing that out. But for now, let's just test it this way. So it takes three shots. I'm pretty sure, and I'm not even going to bother really testing both. I'm going to use the club. If it still takes the club three shots, then we know it's going to take both of them three shots. Actually, I think we should be doing this the other way around. 
We should be testing it with the bat since the bat's stronger. If the bat takes three shots, we know they're all going to take three shots. But that one took three shots. Uh, we'll test this out as well just to be safe. Get ourselves another zombie bow in here. And uh, throw a one. A two. And a three. And he's down. Same thing. So no difference at that point. And usually you won't see a difference. Let's try the Skull Crusher though. Blows to the head, do 25% more damage. Let's give it a shot. So let's see, does it still take three shots? You got one shot. Oh, I missed. Two shots. Yep, still three shots on this guy. So no difference yet. Let's go ahead and let's invest one of our skill perks into the Strength Attribute, which will give our melee damage and block damage another 5% increase. And let's try this out again, see if there's any difference. I don't really expect there to be any kind of difference, but... Nope, still uh, still three shots here. Um, we will just double test that just to make sure, because I think I might have chest hit him on one of those. Oh, I missed that one. That's one headshot. Two headshots, yeah. So it's still three headshots, no difference. Let's go ahead and sink some more perks into it. Let's see here. Let's go Wrecking Crew, increase power attack damage by 5%. Oh, we can't. What do we need? Perception or strength level 3 should be the same with Skull Crusher, right? Yep, strength level 3. So let's go ahead and drop one more point into here. Now, and remember, in order to get to level 4, you got to be level 20. So at that point, you're a little further into the game. We're looking at early stage. What can be effective early stage? So that's one hit. Two hits, three hits. Still no difference. Still takes three hits, even with the powered up bat. So let's try this. Let's get into Wrecking Crew. Let's buy at one point in Wrecking Crew. This is as high as you can go uh, without having to go past level 10. So uh, let's throw in another zombie bow, see if it makes any kind of difference here. It's one hit, two hits. Three hits, no difference. Let's put the last one into Skull Crusher. Let's see, hopefully this makes a difference. Hopefully we can take him out in two hits. That's only one hit. Very unfortunate. Two hits. Still three hits. So no matter what, at an early stage, you are still going to be taking three hits in order to take out the zombies, the basic zombies at least, not the you know more powerful ones and stuff. Basic zombies, no matter what, level 10 and under, it's going to take three hits. It's very unfortunate, it really is, because I was hoping there would be something that can help us you know, be able to level up quicker. Um, but let's see, melee attack speed increased by 5%, um, stay down, you get a 60% chance. All the rest of these aren't going to really help us in those areas. What I want to test though, is if you level up your club, will that help us? So let's see here. If we go ahead and we get like a level 6 one of these things, a level 6, let's see if this is any stronger. One hit. Two hits, three hits. It doesn't even matter. Look at that. We'll test it one more time here. One hit, two hits, three hits. Doesn't even make a difference. The quality in the bat. So look at this. Melee damage, 15. Power attack damage, 34. Melee damage, 15. Power attack damage, 34. So the quality of your clubs doesn't matter. They're all still going to do the same. Even, look at this, even the wooden club compared to your iron reinforced club does not do more damage. Your damage is entirely based on your skills that you power up. The only thing that changes in between each one is your durability. So you got 70 durability. Oh, and your attacks per minute increases because obviously an iron reinforced club is a little bit faster. And then, of course, a level uh, 6 has max durability at 500. So, interesting to know that the melee and the power attack damage, there's no difference in between any of them. They're all the same. So, with that said, now you know what time it is. Let's go ahead and test out just how high we need to get this. 
in order for it to start making a difference. So in order to get to the next level on any of these, this has to be strength level 5. This has to be strength level 5 as well. So let's go ahead and let's buy another perk here. Spawn ourselves in another zombie bow. And let's see if it makes any kind of difference here. One hit. Three hits, but I do want to test because the second one I hit him in the head there, or in the shoulder rather. So that's one hit straight to the head. We'll wait for him to get back up so we can get a clean shot on him for the next one. Two hits. Interesting. Okay. So once you hit level 20 and you can increase your melee and block damage to 15%, at that point it will take two hits to knock down the zombie bow with a bat or any kind of blunt object for that matter. One hit to the head. That is super interesting. I can't believe it. So just that little tiny increase gives us enough power to be able to take him out. I want to know what does it take to take him out with one shot though. So let's uh, let's continue up. I don't think just one of these is going to do it. So we're going to do that plus this plus the skull crusher. And let's see, can we take out a zombie bow now with one hit? Oh, come on, can I, can I hit him in the head? That would be great too. There we go. Still two hits. Let's go a little bit higher. We want to see some freaking damage. We want to see these people's heads blow off. So the next one in order to level up, you must be strength level 7. So let's go ahead and buy another perk. See if that makes any difference. Spawn is in a zombie bow. I don't know what the heck I just crafted. Nope. Still going to go ahead and take two hits to take him out. Let's go ahead and drop another one in there. So at this point, let's see here. Spawn ourselves in another zombie bow. And I just crafted something else random again. I have no idea what. Nope. Still going to take two hits to take him out. So at this point, we are at level, what is it, 80, I think? Or no, we're at level 70 right now, because then the next one's 80, and then you have... Oh no, we're at 60, I'm sorry. Level 60, then you have 70, and then it has 80, and then it jumps up to 100. So let's see now, if we go into Wrecking Crew, now we just increased our power attack damage by 20%. That should be enough, I would assume, to take out Zombie Bow in one hit. No, but it did slam him on his butt, that's for sure. Still two hits. What if we put in a Skull Crusher on top of that? This has to be it. Come on. There's no way you're going to tell me that I have to be a level 100. Oh my god. It doesn't make a difference. you got to be kidding me. We have to be level 100. Let's see. We're going to test this out. Before we go any further though, I still want to, you know, test each level out. Still two hits. Oh my gosh. That is crazy, dude. Absolutely crazy. Let's uh let's buy another perk. I don't think we can do anything till we're at level 10 for both of these, right? Yep. So let's go ahead, let's buy another strength perk. Let's test this out again. Spawn ourselves in a zombie bow, craft ourselves up another wooden club, of course. Oh, I missed. I missed again. Still nothing. Wow, dude. Still takes two shots to take him out. Let's go ahead. This is level 100. Now, at this point, we were able to get a couple of one shots off with the gun when we got to level 100 with this. But you cannot kill a zombie bow with one hit with a baseball bat at that level. That is crazy, dude. Oh my gosh. Let's see. Wrecking Crew. We're maxed out in Wrecking Crew. Let's see if we can get it this time now. Come on, zombie bow. What you got for me? Oh my god, what am I doing? Oh, I got god mode enabled. I don't want that. Oh my goodness. Did you see that? Oh my god, we just wrecked his head. Oh my god, dude. When you get to level 100, you can literally take out a freaking horde. With just a single baseball bat. That is crazy. Let's go ahead and let's up the last one. Not that it's going to make any difference whatsoever. But let's just... Oh, oh, it didn't kill him in one shot that time. What the heck? Uh, get out of here, boy. 
That didn't kill him in one shot. I'm a little concerned now. Did uh, did we hurt ourselves by doing that? Look at that. It's not taking him out in one shot anymore. That is crazy. So let's... uh, We're going to do this one more time. So it's it works, I think, the same as the other one. It's a chance. All right. So we've tested out many different times here what it takes and it looks like even with everything maxed out you still don't kill him with one hit it's only a percentage a small chance that you have of killing them with one hit sometimes it may still take two sometimes it will only take one uh but there you have it guys that is it for the strength so really i mean does it make a difference does it matter to increase it I mean, I suppose there might be, like, some zombies out there in the world that may, you know, when you have your strength at level 3 and you have both of these at level 2, that you might be able to get a two-shot, two uh, sorry, a two-swing uh, hit off of. Uh, like, for instance, like the zombie girl, one of the weak ones. But as far as, like, the common ones, like the zombie bow, it, it's not really worth it. In my personal opinion, not until you get to like when you can start like two hitting them, then it starts to make you know a little more reason to go ahead and uh, to you know invest your perks into it. Otherwise, until then, take it as you want it, take it with a grain of salt, but it doesn't really make a difference whether or not you uh, dip a lot of points into it early game into the strength or not. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any suggestions for the next seven days to die. Uh, series where we're going to be looking at some more stuff. We're going to go ahead next episode and probably be taking a look at some of the agility perks to see just how much it helps you as well as some of the uh, like other ones in between here just to see what it really does. We're going to look at more into perks again. Otherwise, until next time, I will see you.